laying here? What are you showing me? Uh, this uh, it's a very special technique I like to use. Uh, with your leg locks, you want to be real sharp. Almost like, what are those things, those wide things with Sting the tails? Right. Okay, so what the fuck are you going to say? This be careful move you say. is dedicated in homage to this individual. It's, it's called... Steve. Use his fucking name. It's Mr. Steve. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Okay, so I like to mix this up with a, a little bit of this uh, secret Tai Chi Kung Fu I learned on, uh, on the streets in uh, Queensland. So when I'm here, I'm inverting, boom, and I'm going to go. All the way upside down, and I'm come, gonna come through my legs with both arms, and I'm gonna fucking oh, <laughs> and then you're in a real triangle. Okay, wow. so this transition will be coming out soon on my uh, Ushiro Stingray DVD. Don't talk shit. Buy it in stores. BJ Definitics. He's incredible. He's a national fucking hero. That man should still be alive. I wish Cap was dead and he was alive. I'd say like uh, around, uh, you know, just like three to four hundred times. I'm gonna get down there. You better watch out before I kick you. You know what I mean? You're just gonna. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna start throwing you. You know what I mean? You're just gonna get in here. You know, shit like that. You gotta put your head on them though. Yeah. That's what. That's the real stoppers when I go head down on them. You know what I mean? And then, uh, <laughs> you pin them or go head in her chin, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you pin their ass to the fucking mat, right, Dylan? You got a hard head. Well, it should be for yeah. battle. <laughs> battle test. Look at the boys got scratches all on there like a grill in a car. But I feel good, man. Life is good. Haven't competed this year, but there ain't nobody out there that can beat me in my division, so fuck it. I look like jujitsu down here taking my time and I'm doing a Gordon Ryan to him. Watch this. <laughs> what the hook is that? Special up only, man. Don't let him put the bite on him. Turn him up. Now, oh, that boy Mike Sears turn it up for no reason. No, I'm out of here. He'd never get four on me. Hey, you better get that back on that then. He's, he's calling it. I got this. Get your shoulder on the back. It's on the way. It's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an express package. You got Amazon shipping for you back to get on the mat. Just so you guys know, Rondo's almost 50 years old. He's like 47 or something. Let's go, so Rondo. He's a Mount Vernon Township High School Hall of Famer for wrestling. He had the takedown record for Mount Vernon Township for like 25 years until this kid came around and broke it. But he's a he's an OG. He's an OG in the in the neighborhood. You hear his heart breathing. I hear his heart beating. See the thing about me? I believe it. My lungs are bigger than this building. Mike, you smoking Marlboro. That's Marlboro. That's Marlboro Mike right there. Y'all better cut the cameras before I smoke them out. You ain't smoking them. Oh, there it is. I gotta weave this leg here real fast. It's free. It's free. Oh, hey, run his ass. Run his ass. He's a gem. He's a special gem. Anyone and everyone that's ever been here loves to hear him talk. You know, at first they're like skepticals because they think he's just a shit-talking crazy guy, but when they realize he does that to everybody equally, they're like, oh shit, he's cool. He just likes to joke around and fuck around and have a good time. Yeah, these dudes, they're getting better by the day. But they never fuck with an old dog. I'm going to bite him till they crunch and then bite him again. Rawr, try to bite it off. It went good, man. Wrestling practice is sort of easy. They can't take me down. Who oh, can't take you down? Nobody except for Pixley. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? <coughs> I'm about to go smoke a couple joints and chill. Got the day off because it's raining. Come back and try to beat the youngsters up again. What up? You gonna kick some ass this month or not? <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm just gonna do terrible actually. And I was, I was thinking about it. But I'll be there. All, all the motivational winning stuff, <laughs> who wants that? You know what I'm saying? That's the way, it's not why we do this at all. I think power in tapping. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, God. Do you think you want to win? 
Uh, well, yes, yeah. <laughs> I say try something new this time. What do you really think about Simone? Honestly, just between me and you, you yeah, guys should have yeah. fired her a long time ago, man. She just doesn't really care about anything. She's lazy. She comes here, takes these vacations to Mount Vernon, uses all Flo's money, and just doesn't really do anything while she's here. You know what I mean? So I'm glad they sent the A team this time. They got Reed out here, and then maybe we can get like a good production this time. So we'll see. I mean, Simone's still here, so who knows? <laughs> who knows? Guys, how's it going? You guys are watching Flo. I'm basically this in my house. It's a little bit of a mess right now for me. I got some beers out for me. I got the nice little piano right here. I got the electric guitar with the amp right there, the acoustic right there. This is where I sleep. This is the kitchen though, feel me? This is how I learned about America. I watched South Park. I watched the whole thing, and it gave me like the most relevant take on what's going on. And then I didn't really realize that when I first came that Trump was even actually the president. Like when I was on TV back home, I would watch it, and we all thought it was a joke. It was like a comedy segment on Comedy Central or something. That's basically how I watched everything. I would watch it all, and I would figure out like what I could say and what I could joke about, and they joke about everything. But we train a lot, man. You know, the hours, we don't get many hours to fucking do much. So you just got to find stuff to do in like an hour or two. That's why most people play games. Like the Wilties play computer games, you know, like George edits all the videos and does a bunch of hard work and he's a madman. And Couch, I don't know what he does. I think he just stands in his backyard and thinks about the old trailer, you know? I don't know, like off into the distance with his hair blowing. How y'all doing? Hey, we're here. Welcome to my new home. That's your new thing now, is hammer here, hammer out, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There's a new fighter house. Yep. I got all the important stuff, you know. Think and grow rich. I don't think, and I don't got a lot of money, so I'm not reading that book right, apparently. Take all that. Oh, I got a shot. Don't worry. That's my opening shot. I just got this kangaroo. What do we have here? It's a kangaroo. No, on the other side. That's a spatula on the other side, Simone. On the other side of my leg. I don't know how to get that shot. Am I getting a shot of the kangaroo? <laughs> I could show you it another time. And what is, oh, and those are not real scars. Yeah, they are. Crazy. Oh, they were made by, made by Couch's teeth when he was trying to heel hook me. He came up with this new method where he just uses his head for everything, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Check it here. Yeah, yeah. After all this shit. Sorry, flex. Flex your way out of it. Me and George talked about poisoning him, but we won't do that till tonight, you know, before, after he's done with his match. We want him to do good today, though. They just want me to get to the semifinals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want them to be in the semifinals. And it's like, they're going to hit me with that, yeah. uh, yeah. with that, what's that shit called, arsenic? No, I think we were going to do a mixture of arsenic and anthrax. Anthrax, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, anthrax about. will really do the yeah. trick. He'll feel real yeah. sluggish, but you don't ever know. Do you remember us putting it on all the water fountains? It's all this sad shit. Huh? The fuck you so sad about? Uh. You won six matches. I'm ugly. Well, yeah, I can't help you with that. That ain't gonna change. Yeah. Well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't lie to me and say I get if better you, looking. If you win the ADCC, then the you, fuck are you, you gonna do about that? You get, if you win, you can get the plastic surgery. Of okay. some sort. Okay. So that's good. I think people like you because you're so ugly. You're like those dogs that are so ugly, they're cute. Like pugs. I'm a pug. <laughs> like those uh, white dogs with like the red shit coming out of their eyes. Ugly here for both. I was thinking more like a St. Bernard, but. <laughs> Goddamn! <laughs> 
I'm about to get this boy nice and juicy. Get him nice and ready. You think it's gone to his head already? No, like I said earlier, the head is so big. There's so much volume up there. He, he'd have to win 30 of these tournaments back to back to back yeah, to, to maybe 30, to maybe fill half the space in there. Man, that's a lot. 30 times 30 is like three, three. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. You're gonna pull, right? Of course, you gotta use those feet against me, Okay. No, those feet, the smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's it feel like being here facing the greatest grappler in the world? Do you know? Uh, I'm full range of emotion. Excited, nervous, happy. Yeah, that's it, really. Excited, nervous, and happy both. What happens if you tap him out? What would you do? Shit on the mat? Um, Cash versus Ryan, there you go. What would Mima think of that? Okay. Being on the big bill? Oh, come on, don't say that, you motherfucker. Mr. Headliner, can I ask you a couple questions? No, you can't, actually. Corey? <laughs> okay. um, what's it like to be going up against Gordon Ryan? Oh, pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Remember, it's your, it's your Rocky moment. All right. Shake it up. All right. <laughs> All right. Got it. Is it? Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just play that. That's, That's what it. That's where the whole thing is. Dude, you nailed it. <laughs> Got it. Hello. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Jacob, welcome back to Dallas. Thanks for being a part of Tezos, who's number one, Gordon Ryan versus Jacob Couch. I don't appreciate she put him first. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to write a letter to Mark about that. The main event, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Do it like a like, like $100 bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with this. Yes, love Slim Jims. Headliner, baby. Oh, call me it, bro. Oh, that's not what I want. Turn to boom hour again. Cut the cat. Cut the tape. Do you watch this real quick? Yeah. Did you show enough? No, I was asking. What Shit wouldn't work on me. Wouldn't work on Michael. <laughs> huh? <laughs> 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 Nothing. Looks fancy. No. She's getting nosy though. Back up. Turn it off. Back it up. I said turn it off. I said turn it off. <laughs> Simone's wasting time like usual. It's, I, I just, at this point, I don't know what to do. What's poppin' is your girl oh. Simone, who's number one. We got Tell Jacob Couch on the card. Tell He's headlining. Tell it's gonna be a great Tell match. Him. Be there, flow grappling. Juco's finest, Trey. Trey, say hello. What's up? What's up? Uh, hey guys, welcome to the Trey Show. Trey Show, gang, hold on. Hey, are you on the pre show again? I'm on the pre, yeah. I think they're gonna zoom this thing in. Dude, I think you should be I don't know how to zoom it no, in. You're really good. I don't know how to zoom it in at all. Yeah. We're in a nice facility though, ain't we? Uh, here with Simone Khan. Uh, how do you feel for your performance tonight? I mean... Hold on. <laughs> okay, go again. Go again. I'm ready. <laughs> Obtaining the bantamweight title. I mean, the thing is, I believed. People yeah. say your jiu-jitsu has to be good. You have to, uh -huh. you know, drill this a thousand times or yeah. drill this another thousand times. You, you have to believe. You have to leave it all out there it's, on the mat. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. I just went out there. I said this, this, this title, How'd this belt do? is mine. Do you know a submission you hit tonight? Could you tell me? It was a mix between a twister and like a Dars type thing. Oh, um, I did like a cartwheel into a it. A twister. <laughs> yeah, it was a twister. Come on, she can't even hold that motherfucker. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> Throw it, why are you getting so close? You gotta grab the treads. Here we go, Rosa, yeah. big moment. We'll get this hand ready. Like, you're like low Look low. at her face when she throws it. She's... <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That was it. That's it. She was trying to throw it to me though. <laughs> you ain't gonna pet it? Snipe it. You won't. Go pet it. I'm not thinking about it. You're gonna pet. lose a lot of fans, bro. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> that motherfucker was coming at us, bro. What's the plan tomorrow? Straight murder? What are you thinking? Oh, wow. Some great <laughs> See, they'd be setting me up for failure, dude. Yeah, straight murder for sure. Murder, not murder. <laughs> Business. Hey, are you gonna kill some folks tomorrow, Michael Pixley? <laughs> don't do her like that, bro. Right, she don't sound like that. All right, you want me to get him going? Yeah, get him going. See, he's biking. He's so scary. He's so scary. <laughs> Holding. Holding. Pass interference. Hold us, cheated. <laughs> you know how it is. We're gonna get it on. Let's go. Let's do it, baby. Be the shit of you! Up, up, up! Nice, use it. Use it, picks, use it! Nice, don't stop! Don't stop! Use it to come up! Belly down, belly down, nice. you're on, it's tight. tight. Yeah. 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 We need two here, Michael, we need two. Two yeah, wins, win, picks. picks. Let's go, we're gonna win, let's go. Two wins, picks, two wins. Hey! Hey! Let's go. Let's go, let's go suck it up. 50 seconds. That's it, Pix! That's it, Pix! Yes, Pix, head on the back! Head on the back! It's tight! It's tight! It's tight! It's tight. Chin on the back! It's Heads tight. on his back! Hey. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go. Money! Let's go! Let's go. Hey, let's go! I wasn't letting that shit go. I wasn't letting you go. Let's go. You're the man. For the first time ever, I think I seen somebody take Pixley down, but Pixley came back and uh, took care of business. That was crazy. What was it, a minute left? And he's a front headlock guillotine? That was insane. So that dude was a two-time NAIA national champ wrestler. I was an NAIA national champion wrestler, so I mean, I was losing 2-0, so I had to do what I had to do to come back and get the win. It, it was really cool to see Pixley in a bad spot, you know, and he worked for that win, so you know, I was really proud of him. That was my favorite match of the day. There's a weight on my shoulders now, you know, that I, most people probably never understand, you know, because, like, I'm a black belt, and, and you know, most people aren't. So, I, you know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> this is Shane Sweeney. Shane's from Stab City, Ireland. He found us through the Days of Fresh. It's some documentary with a bunch of lads going wild. He kind of was an orphan and didn't have a place to be, so he came over, stayed with us. He sacrificed so much time away from his, his family, the Daisy Fresh Ireland. It's looking great. What's up? We're out here in my new gym. Looking fresh as ever. We've got a room in a vacuum. We're gonna clean this place up in like 10 seconds. Champions will be built right here. Pan no gi. Probably be best if you don't. Oh, come you want to cook you something back here? <laughs> you know. Last meal. Listen, let's let's meal, let's yeah. leave that to the viewers. Just their <laughs> their minds. We used to do challenges. We had a challenge board and we would put stuff up. <laughs> Punishment. Weekly chores, daily chores. What kind of shit do they get punishments for? Man, you know, just leaving their stuff out on the mat. Breaking this one? 
No drinking at the gym. No drinking at the gym ever. No, no ladies at the gym. You know what I mean? No, no, no girlfriends. Uh, so you know the guys would, that you see them walking down the train tracks. You know with their their girlfriends <laughs> at Park Center <laughs> or they they they'd walk down there. But uh, man, just, just so many years of uh, sweat, blood, and tears. Main Street, Broadway, right in between the two. It couldn't be more in the heart and in the center of Mount Vernon. That's the tallest building in Mount Vernon, the, the gold bank over there. Location-wise, for Mount Vernon, Illinois, this is as good as it gets, man. It was like a, a you know, dream come true, big parking lot. But for real, though, it really is the tallest building in Mount Vernon, for real. <laughs> I talked to a guy this morning about my truck for 10 minutes. Felt good. It's a random guy, an old guy, talking about working. Asked me about my, stuff. Asked me about how many pockets I have in my pants, and I said, <laughs> so I did, and then he grunts it back, back, and then we smoked a cigarette together. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't probably be offering his <laughs> So George really wanted to get one of the bouncy mat surfaces, you know what I mean? So we couldn't afford the springs that are under. So actually what's underneath the mat is pool noodles. So it's boards and we took these pool noodles and we individually cut them like literally thousands of them. Fastened them, glued them onto the bottom and then it made the underneath like bouncy part of the mat. So it's like they're the softest, nicest mats you've ever seen. Showers. Toilet. It's kind of flushy yet. Water's not on. Water's not on. Got the toilet set up. <laughs> <A little> toilet cam. <laughs> this was all dropped ceilings, so we ripped out all the ceilings, opened it all up, and then um, Spatch got all this ceiling stuff and put it on and had to redo the electric. Mate, what you doing up here? Did I? Nah. Right here. Uh, nah, I'm just uh, cutting a hole in the drywall, fixing walls, because someone punched a hole in it to put the electrical wiring in. So we're just trying to make it look clean and good because everything's white in here and the roof and everything. So just patching some holes, doing something easy because downstairs me and Eli were um, texturing the wall with concrete and that might've been the hardest thing I've done in my entire life. That's the American way. You know, you bust your ass, you work your ass off, you save everything that you have. And then when the time comes and you're able to do it, you jump on the opportunity. And now, you know, after buying this place and all the stuff, it's going to be the most incredible place. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be broke. You know, your boy's gonna be broke, but we have the dream. This Chicago trophy, the IBGGF Chicago was like the toughest IBGGF tournament there was. We had seven, eight guys maybe signed up and Carlson Gracie headquarters and a TAC team and all these giant teams are up there. So when we won this the first time, it was like major. For, for me as a coach and us as a team. So, you know, it's, a, it's funny how much things have progressed. You know, th this, this was one of the first trophies that we won in the Daisy Fresh as a team that was like, I mean, I was like stoked. When that happened, I knew, hey, we can do this. Now, it doesn't make the shelf. 2012, we had a couple guys. I was a blue belt. We didn't even know too, too much about the IBGGF, but this was the very first time that I knew like, hey, all of these plans and everything that we're trying to build, this is real, it's gonna work. Like, we, we can beat these guys. So that's probably my, uh, my favorite one out of all of those. You can take one of these with you if you want. It's a big change, man, at the laundromat, we just had a fucking corner where basically all this was just piled in the corner, you know, so. He basically wants it so we don't ever have to leave. We got the jujitsu, we got wrestling, we got the weight room, we have a sauna, showers. Like, if we were allowed to, we could all live here. I don't mind paying a little extra on rent to have something like this. This is a lifetime's work in the making, you know what I mean? So it's cool. It's cool to be a part of it, you know? I got here like right whenever the documentary started, you know? So it was still like kind of the OGs that were there. I've only been here for not even three years, but I got to see it blow up just to be here for all this shit, dude. This is cool. Jiu-Jitsu. I think I might quit next week though. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Yeah, he, he spent a good little chunk of money. He got me new gloves, new pads for everybody. We're just kind of holding each other accountable. We do like a warm up at the beginning. It's like a lot of talking and messing around. But whenever it's time to hit, they, they get after it. I have four people now in the kickboxing class that do jujitsu also. Uh, Melissa Sanders, she started off in the kickboxing program only and she just won pans. She just won Nogi pans. Yeah, it's actually great to have him back. It, it, it's really cool. And then, fuck! I almost, man! Man! Hey, six. <laughs> get, 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 I'm very grateful for it. I'm glad it went the way it did because look at him. He has the bravado of someone who had it coming. I whipped that ass. Shit. I thought his big fucking foot on me. Well, he's not even training because he's just scared of everyone in the gi. We all know that. <laughs> Come out of the way, dude. All right, you hard punch just think about the training. My hand's a little high. Hit him in the head. Yeah, you're scared, bro? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I learned jujitsu. Jujitsu is the ultimate art form. You know, if you can tie people up to submission grapple, then it doesn't matter if they can throw punches. <laughs> what do I have to say? I meant to be drilling since CJ's moment to get better, but he's so behind it doesn't matter anyway. I, I'm just surprised he didn't have me teach, but I guess while you guys are here, it's like, it's whatever, but like, I think he's realized how much knowledge I have lately. You know? Did they, did the camera interview you? Tell the people what you're going to do to in the next year. CJ, do you kick Ranch's ass every day? Um, one out of ten he gets me. Oh! <laughs> So and you get day. me one out of ten. Yeah, in your dreams. Fuck off. What do you mean one out of ten but I get you? When I first got here, you'd kill me every day. Now, not so much. I choke him like this. You're gonna together. make me fucking mad. I'm telling you. So there's a lot more space, obviously. But with more space comes more people, more responsibility. So I have to step my game up as a coach also. You know what I mean? So. I miss the old building now because of that. CJ's not following instructions. Gotta keep my toes. <laughs> Saved by the bell. I know you I'm too near sweep. Can't see that me. That's one of the biggest things people say now is, hey, I saw the flow grappling thing. We started our own thing, you know, we're building it up. I, I really do think that flow making the Daisy Fresh series revolutionized jujitsu for the normal average person that, you know, realized, hey man, I don't have to be a part of this huge big thing or this gym that charges $300 a month, you know, I can grab my friends and we, we can we can throw some mats down and work our asses off and all save up and build something. And, uh, you know, th th this is proof that anyone and everyone can do that, no matter where you are. Good to meet you. How you doing? I'm a fan. Nice to meet you. It's me. Oh shit! What's up? <laughs> Catch has one more match. Okay. He's lucky it's not me. <laughs> What's cooking? Why are you over here? Hold him back. Hold him back. <laughs> oh shit, Rondo! No, are you hill hooking? Yeah, trying. No, I was not. Hey, hey, he hill hooking, bro. Hey, bro. Hey. I got him. Almost took my back. Almost. But guess what? A lot of people almost take my. <laughs> yeah. Almost in a cap. Nah, yeah. Oh, what the hell? 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 
So this is a nice space where I can come in and think and get things figured out and scold Jacob Couch for whatever he's done wrong in the last four to six hours. So Couch is usually in that seat, in trouble, head down. Okay. Kind of like scissor in the air. Yeah. Then headlock them. Okay. Kind of Darcy too. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? You stealing my content? What's up with you? 